gonna do hip flexion, so it's gonna be this movement. All right, I'm gonna have the knee flex, right? I'm gonna make sure the pelvis doesn't go in posterior tilt. All right, so this one can be kind of, you know, tricky here. Yeah? So, like I said, fulcrum, lateral aspect of the greater trochanter, and palpate to go with the greater trochanter. The fixed arm is in line with the mid axillary line, movable lateral midline of the femur. Okay, get my guy all lined up here. All right, so. All right, so there we go. Line them up there, line them up there, and line them up there. So here I'm going to hold this guy with my hand here to keep him parallel to the, you know, to the anterior axillary line. Like I said, we're going to lift this one up, and that would be it right there. Okay? That would be flexion, hyperextension. I'm going to flip on over. All right, so hyperextension. Is it's going to be everything's going to be the same thing with the lineup, all right? So, let's see, all right. So with this one here, all we're going to do is this movement like that. Then, okay. You don't want to bend the re knee, really. How come? Passive insufficiency. Bingo. Very good. Passive insufficiency. Okay. Okay. Palpate, create a canter. Place them right there. Lateral midline, anterior axillary line. All right, my hand here, like this. Lift him up, like that. All right, you're drop your pelvis down. All right, that's what you're gonna see, see? Okay, and that's about, eh, right about like that. All right, everybody's good? All right, like I said, so this is gonna be a tough one sometimes, all right? Um, but you want to make sure, so she had started lifting the pelvis up, and that could change things. Um, a, B, the back. So with this, I usually like to have the person to the edge of the table on the other side, because that gives me swing room. You're going to drop him down. So that gives me more swing room to have the leg come out and still be on the table. All right? If she was like really in the middle over here, the leg would be way off, hanging down, and then she's going to start to go into extension, hyperextension, right? Um, so, this one here. Okay. With this one here, what we're going to do is ASIS is the fulcrum, and a fixed arm is going to line up with the other ASIS, and then the anterior midline of the thigh. All right? So this one we have to kind of do like a little sheet move, like I All right, so there's the SIS. All right, there's that one, and I have the other guy right there. All right, so now let me see. Oh, I think I used to do the move this way. This is how I did it. Okay, let me show you. A little thing, which is not my notes. Okay, all right. All right, so there we go. I'm lined up this way, I'm lined up this way. So now I'm going to go ahead, and what I do, guys, is this is my little method here. Is I kind of use this like this to swing my thumb out, right? Because it's, it's often difficult to hold this and the thigh uh, at the same time. So you can go ahead and swing that person's leg out, right? And I'm moving this just like this, so I can feel the end play, right? And then now I'm and I'm lined up, right? I have I'm, I'm lined up here and I'm down the midline, all right? By doing it that way. Okay, now you're going to swing towards me. Okay, now you're going to swing this leg away. Because now we're going to do a, uh, well, let me say, come back together midline. Right, so I'm, I want to make sure she's, I don't want her to start weighing out here, remember? Right? So I want to start her in the anatomical position, and that leg goes out of the way. Okay, so that's okay as long as she's not going to hyperextension. All right, she has it off the table. Like this. So everything is going to be the same again. All right? Um, you know what? Put that leg back up. I don't like it being that way. Come, come to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bring that leg off from here. Okay. Okay. So if we do the same thing, I'm going to use my fingers over here, and, and I'm going to swing it this way. All right. So now I'm going to move that leg into the midline right there. And what I want to see, remember I told you what you got to watch out is that the pelvis doesn't start to drop down over here. All right. So you stop it before it does that. Okay, so I go ahead like that. Right. 
and the S my number just like that. Okay? Alrighty, let's see. There we have coming up. I think we have the knee now, right? Uh, uh, no, hip. Uh, yep, yeah, so you set. Mm -hmm. Internal external rotation. So swing over to me. Alright, so just come slide over this way a little bit more. So what we're going to do is we're gonna, you're going to tuck that one under. So when I do this, all right, so that's going to be that external rotation. All right, internal rotation would be that movement there. Remember, I'm going to have to have a towel on here. As you can see, she's dropped down a bit. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't want to do the personal thing. All right, so I don't have one right here right now just to save time. But that's what I did. Have to make sure for practice you have that. All right, so if you guys have one, you should have one now. All right, so. I used to have these things in the back of the room here. Yeah. I don't know where they are. Got him the A. Okay, right? So, center of the patella, right? And to midline of the tibia. All right, so I'm going to get down here. Perpendicular. Right, right, right. All right, so that's what I have to do, just like this. Now, I hold this guy, I'm going to rest my hand here. That's what makes it my fixed one. All right? Don't try it like this, because now remember, I told you this is the hardest ones. I mean, you can do it this way, but that becomes very awkward then. So, remember I told you, find the easy way. Alright, so I hold this whole leg, and I'm going to do external rotation, and that would be the external rotation. I'll do the same thing now for internal. Internal rotation. Alright, all good? 